area is growing. It's going to expand. We have so many new projects coming in. So I think it's really important that the streets keep up. The information session gave people a way to see and give feedback on ways to make the stretch of Central Parkway between Plum and Liberty Streets safer. Crossing and whatnot, you do have to be very careful. And I like the idea of it going down to one lane, frankly. I think it's going to really help. Those in attendance divided up into groups breaking down the changes they'd like to see. As a resident here, just a couple blocks away from the stadium, um, safety is a huge problem after the game with people trying to you know, get to their cars that are far away. Traffic is a total nightmare. It's really great that they're thinking about making changes. The city surveyed nearly 500 area residents. Concerns over the width of the street and need for traffic lights were raised. Using that data, the city created four potential new designs. Each plan focuses on either one or two lanes and then the width of the median uh, comes into play and then the width of the sidewalk on each side. Some of the plans have a narrow median and really wide sidewalks. Others have a wider median and smaller sidewalks. Residents say something needs to improve with people flocking to TQL Stadium, the area around it, and over the Rhine. The whole entire neighborhood is changing rapidly with the development that is proposed on the north side at this point, but certainly I know is going to come to the south side as well. It's going to be a completely different neighborhood in a short amount of time. Now, the second public meeting for folks to hear about the development is set to take place sometime in October. The developers stress that they are still in the early phases of this project and still are trying to secure funding to get work done. Kyle. All right. Tyler Mad reporting live for us tonight. Tyler, thank you so much. The city is accepting comments on that proposed project until October 1st. We're going to have a link to the comments page under the Get It Now tab at local12.com. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.